Hello to my YouTube family. Welcome back to the shop fit tutorial. I'm your host Faisal Mamoud from Faisal Kudas YouTube channel. So in this today's tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, a issue on a website of my client. So this is my client website and he's facing an error 404 not found. So and uh, he just want to get it from this error. So let's investigate that error and uh, make sure how we can get it from this error. I will click on home and then I will click on on store and after that I will click on these three dots because this is a live theme so I will click on these three dots then I will click on edit code so here we will see what's happening actually let me show you one more thing I will click on customize themes So here you can see uh, the page they are using is 404 as a home page. So we have to check on the backend templates. Do they have the index or not? Because in Sales Shop with theme templates, index template is mandatory part. So as you can see, there is no index template over there. So what I will do, I will simply uh, create a new template with the name of index. And JSON okay I will just save it and now the template has created now what I have to do I have to find a 404 page okay so 404.json is over there I will simply select all because all the sections are available on that template so I simply want these all sections for the index page okay so index page has saved successfully why we have created an index file? Index file is the starting point of uh, Shopify or any website uh, which we use to host locally on a file manager it's using cPanel. We also used to create index.html, index.php uh, to let the server know that's the starting point of website. So that was missing on that thing. I just created it right, right away. And now I will just refresh and you guys will see this error will no more. Now you can see error is no more over there and it's only showing uh, Amora websites clothing blah 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 whatever they have written the name of that website and now if we go back to the customizer and we click on the Amora logo and now let me refresh it again So now you can see it's saying home page. Okay. So before it was saying 404 page and currently it's showing home page. So that is the issue. Uh, I figured it out uh, from the back end and I hope you guys will love that tutorial. That was a simple tricky thing and it can ruin your whole store or website if you are not configuring the things properly. I hope you guys will love that today's session. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye bye.